Now, Barry, your story tonight, you're not actually strapping on an apple belt. No, they give me the week off the tools, and uh, every now and then I'm going to go and visit an amazing house. And this week's house has a lot in common with the uh, big banana at Coffs Harbour, a pizza oven, and even the 1973 Sydney to Hobart winner. It was made completely of cement and chicken wire. Ooh. Can you imagine living in a house like that? When this house was built, Chris and Miguel were just a twinkle in their father's eyes. A man that I imagine had pigtails and a crush on David Cassie. I was dreaming about being an astronaut and one day living on the moon. If I did, this is the house I'd live in. And the owners of this shagadelic stepping pad are mad about their house. I think we live here maybe seven years seven now. Seven years. Looking through the property section, there was a very minuscule ad, and it said that there was a retro style house with, which um, had land value only. But when we saw the house, we thought, This is it, we have This to is the one. Let's go! Let's go. How's it going? Mia, how are you? Thanks for having me. The detail yeah. starts at the doorbell, the 70s. Well, <laughs> what an era. Everything has what to be proper. Let's have a look through. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I love everything about it already. Is everything from the 70s in this house? Everything from 1976, whatever you it's say. <laughs> The furniture or the house? The furniture came first, and then when the house, when I saw the house, I thought this is a home for all my collecting. It's a non stop project. It's a... <laughs> Where will it end there? <laughs> God knows. God knows. Yeah. Experimental and completely one of a kind. What makes this Sydney's house unique is it's made entirely of reinforced concrete. But the trick to creating a house like this has more to do with building a pizza oven or boat rather than a typical suburban home. As well as the sculpture, it's incredibly strong. And there's only three real elements in it. Some structural steel, a reinforcement bar. We bend that up and create some structure, like the ribs in your belly. Once I've got that in place, I'm gonna put these ties over it. Then all I have to do is sort of wrap the reinforcement wire over the superstructure. And it's as simple as that. And then one hell of a lot of ferrous cement. Mia's house is like a time warp. Almost every surface is in original condition. A little bit of storage here. I used to have a singlet made out of that material. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, and this pool creed is sort of like what would be in a pool normally, isn't it? That's it. So you can actually get glass to floors and clean them. And where they have renovated, they've blended old and new seamlessly. Okay, so these are obviously new, these cupboards. Yeah, just those are new, but we tried to match the colour with the tiles. How about this? They're original. Yeah, they're, they're original amazing. I love that colour. Yeah. Really in keeping with the 70s. And the range of it, I love how they just sculpted the, uh, the vent into the, into the superstructure. Yeah, great The whole detail. thing, the details, the bulkheads, the way they reflect the light. So well thought out. Yeah, so it. curvaceous and beautiful. It's curvy. It's groovy. In fact, it's not a straight line or plumb wall in the entire house. I've got to tell you, this answers a question for me. I was wondering how you were going to have the bed up against one of these walls, and yeah. you don't. You put it in the middle of the right room. Right in the middle. Take advantage of the gorgeous view. Absolutely. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but this fab Ferro house is incredibly strong, cool in summer and warm in winter. It's been 40 years, no one track, not one settlement over the It doesn't the land, move, right? like it's the winds can be howling around, there's no movement, nothing whatsoever. You feel secure in here, it kind of, it's like, it kind of hugs you. Oh, is that it? it feels like a cave, like a 20th century modern cave. Well, it's kind of like a 70th cave. Yeah. <laughs> I think the architect was ahead of his time and the builder was incredibly brave to take this on because where would this star, you know? Honestly, you're a couple of the luckiest cavemen alive, I think. And not just because of my looks. No, no, not just your looks, mate. Right? Beautiful. It's like the Flintstones.
Stones and the Jetsons all in one. Yeah, it, was, it was a great house. I mean, seriously, at the time, it was way ahead of its time, but like a lot of things, it didn't, it didn't sort of grab.